Hello everybody, it is DG7Fender, and I'm going to be showing you my world famous lock today. I use my lock on many servers to keep people out of my stuff. And we're going to go ahead and play on short here just to keep the lag out. Don't want you guys to uh, have to deal with that. My lock consists of 10 buttons, and these 10 buttons have to be pushed in a numerical order and there's five combinations to the entire lock itself which will then open this door so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten alright so I'm going to be speed building through most of this but I will make sure you get the gist of what the hell is going on because if you're new to redstone you will have no idea what I am doing alright one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There we go. Alright, so basically, we want these buttons to all come out right here through redstone torches. And every time a button is pressed, for example, when this one is pressed, that redstone torch will turn off. Obviously, if you don't know that much about redstone, you probably shouldn't be watching this video. Alright, what we want to do is align the lines of redstone so they can sit next to each other, but don't connect to each other. And to do that, I usually just go ahead and do this, alternate every two. Put a... No, let's put some redstone, 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 redstone. And then... Redstone, 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 redstone. There you go. Alright. <clears throat> so essentially, what we want to do is connect these to an input, whatever you want to call it. And what I mean by that is we're going to hook it up to where the streams of redstone will go to the RS NORs. And that will the RS NORs will be the combination and we just want this, what I'm about to build, so we can arrange the combo and change the combo and etc. So let's keep our stream going just by alternating redstone repeaters and redstone. Alright. There we go. Now we just want all of them to meet up right at an aligned point with repeaters. Alright, now for a combination lock that has anti-spam features, we will need seven rows of just straight up blocks. Skip one, second row, skip one, second row, I mean third row, and etc. There we go, seven rows. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now the fun part is to put repeaters through the entire thing so it will continue the redstone circuit. Like so. There we go. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven rows. And the combo will be here's the first button, second, third, fourth, fifth, and anti spam feature, which I will be showing you here in a moment alright so for the anti-spam feature basically we want for whenever a button is pressed we want it to make it so uh, another button cannot be pressed or another input cannot be put in for a few seconds and to do that what we need to do is do this And then bring it up a row so we have another set of torches and essentially whenever a button is pushed one of those torches goes on and now all we need to do is make it so whenever one of those torches goes on, a redstone circuit is turned on. All 
as you can see that turns on alright now what we want to do is elongate how long that is turned on and a button stays on for 10 ticks I have measured it with repeaters so what I want to do is make it so this goes and lifts this up so the redstone path cannot continue for about hmm let's say five seconds five seconds sounds good maybe three just because I don't wanna keep you guys waiting So now, whenever I press a button, all of those should lift up. Just for 10 ticks, though. All right. So to elongate the uh, 10 ticks that we get from pressing this button, we want to make it so. Here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> all right. Scratch that. This will make the process much easier. Stretch that out one more. And remember, this is all anti-spam feature, so if you do not care about the spam feature, please feel free to fast forward the video. Reaches just perfectly. Alright, so now what we want to do is have another redstone circuit go around and last for 10 ticks. And that will keep this redstone torch off for 20 ticks. To do this, we will bring around a nice little circuit here and have a redstone, have redstone repeaters continuate for 11 ticks because this counts as one tick itself. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, uh, nine, ten, eleven. There we go. That should lift the pistons up for twice as long. There we go. And that is a nice anti-spam feature. The button will, the buttons will not be able to send a redstone uh, surge through the input buttons. All right. And we will worry about the combination later. With this lock, you don't have to worry about the combination as much. The combination, although, will be right under here, and we will dig our holes now. Alright, so why I did that is because, um, when we send the redstone surge, we are going to want it to go towards the back and it'll activate this one if the redstone block is right here. For example, if there's redstone right there, whatever is going down that surge will activate it and it will not activate any other redstone on the ground as demonstrated. All right, now what we want to do is connect these to the RS NORs, so what will essentially make the combination lock work. And I am not going to build one of those crappy combination locks that can just be pressed as in you cannot press 4, 5, back to 4, 3, 2, 1 and it will open. It will reset if you hit the wrong button. And you will also only have 5 chances before the entire combination resets. Alright, so what you want to do is bring this back one out and you want to have this one go straight this one go out one this one go out two three and four and essentially what you want to do is do what we did back here and just keep them by each other you can do all repeaters or you can do my version of saving repeaters by doing this alternating but you will need to do double every now and then for that occasion.
All right, now that we have that lined up, we're going to go ahead and put a nice stream of redstone down the back here. And that will make it so we will get rid of this, most of it. But basically, the buttons you aren't using, there will be redstone here. So say you're not using button number one. It will activate this redstone, which will in turn reset the entire combination. So we'll set that up later. All right, so moving on. Basically what we want is for the first RS Nor surge to go and have one block in between of this to conserve space. And by the way, the entire dimensions of these of this redstone lock, it's going to be about 35 blocks that way and 25 blocks wide. And that's including the counter I am adding at the end. All right, so here we go. We'll have that branch off right there. And essentially what you want is to have, I believe, four blocks of space in between before you send off your next redstone. So one, two, three, four, just like that, and have that with each of them. And I'm just going to go ahead and alternate these real quick. Nice and fast. There we go. As you can see, there are four blocks in between each redstone path. And now what we want to do is stretch them out just a little bit each, and we will add the order uh, whatever you want to call them we'll add what makes it so it's order specific rather than being able to just press each RS nor and then get by easy alright now what we will want is to add in the order process so we're just gonna put that right there <clears throat> and essentially when this is locked we don't want this to turn on alright and uh, we'll make it so if this is activated here just as, as, as an example this will turn on and that will just go to the reset bar and that will reset the entire sequence alright so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and do that with each and every single one of these have them all start right there and it'll go until the very last one. So just make this nice eye shape, torches at the end of each. Have that turn off that. All right, and the circuit will point to the right first and then to the left. Alright, so if you did not understand, when this RS Nor is turned on, it will keep this redstone locked as on, which will keep the res this redstone locked as off. So, for example, that will be locked, making it so that cannot turn on. Alright. Now, what we want to do is the RS Nors. And we do not need so much. Yes, we do. That is perfect, actually. Alright, so my version of an RS Nor, it's just a little compact, but all it is is um, just a shape like that. And um, the second redstone torch will be right here. <clears throat> and that is the one that will only <clears throat> turn off if the uh, correct combo is like for example if there's a surge that goes through here it will not activate but it will turn off the RS nor for a split second and that will allow the next one to be turned off for a split second but that's where our anti-spam feature comes in and also we can prevent that by making it so the second torch 
is the one that locks the next circuit. So we want to make a nice little Texas design for each and every one of these. Alright, and now we want to make our RS Norse. If you don't know an, an what if you don't know what an RS NOR memory latch is, it's basically a uh, a redstone design that creates an on and off switch basically, and you have to turn it off and turn it on with two separate redstone surges. All right, make sure you always go with the closest torch first. All right, and now. We want to have this one lock the next RS NOR so it cannot be turned on until this is turned off. And we do that by doing this. So essentially, when this one is turned on, when the memory latch flips, it will lock, it will turn this redstone torch off, allowing this one to flip. Because right now, that redstone torch will not allow that to flip. But once they are flipped right over here that will turn off allowing this one to turn off as you can see there we go automatically resets alright there we go I will be right back all right, now what we want to do is build a reset line. And the reset line will basically go around and turn all of these back on. And essentially, you only need one here, but just for anti-spam measures, we're going to put them on the first three, and that should do just fine. All right, so one, two, three, and then a nice trail of redstone. And we're still going to want one over here because when the combo is finished, you want it to auto reset. So we'll just have a few repeaters that leads into this. There we go. And what I just did there was, um, like I said earlier, if one wasn't part of your combo you'd have it right there and that would activate and then it would go along with the reset bar and reset the combination but we haven't gotten to the combination part yet alright now I still have not connected these to the reset bar and I'm going to do that right now to do that all you really need to do is put a block with just some redstone on top and um, when this turns on that redstone will turn on and we'll go ahead and make it so it connects to the reset bar. All right, there we go. That should do it. So now whenever one of these gets activated, it will go ahead and send a quick surge throughout the reset bar, resetting the entire combination. <clears throat> and that should do just fine. Alright, now what we want to do is hook up the end, I guess I could say. And we're going to go ahead and replace this with a repeater. <clears throat> and that will go over here and send a very long, long, long signal to the reset bar and this is basically what's going to shut the door so basically this is going to go in a circle <clears throat> and then eventually turn this back off and this is also going to go straight over to our iron door over there there we go So that will turn on the iron door and open it when the combo is correctly entered. <clears throat> and now we are going to go ahead and make a combination. 
and this combination will be picked at random. Let's make it 5, 9, 2, 8, 4. I have that written down in a notepad so I don't forget. And remember, this is the first button, second, third, fourth, fifth. So we want the first button to be a 5. So, alright, my bad, I was lagging a bit. Alright, so we want the first button to be a 5. And going from left to right, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And we want it to be right there. So, redstone will not be interacted with as it is placed down here, but it will be right there on the 5. Alright, so 5, 9. So, it will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Or the one right before 10, obviously. Two, eight, and last but not least, four. You get it because it's not least. Yeah. Two, three, four. Wrong way, my bad. One, two, three, four. There we go almost forgot one thing we want to have basically all the numbers we aren't using so we're using five nine eight I mean five nine two eight four and we don't want those to have redstone basically every other number will have redstone so we don't have a one we have a two we don't have a three have a four we have a five don't have a six don't have a seven we have a nine and an eight and we don't have a ten so there we go all right so now let's enter in the combination and everything should work just dandy. So five, wait for the anti-spam to go back down. Nine. Two. Eight. And let's just make sure everything is working all nicely. As you can see, that is switched, that is switched, that is switched, that is switched. And we are on the last Arsenor as we have not pressed the last button yet. And... 4. And that should open the door. And it will close as it resets. Perfect. Now, you can be perfectly happy with this type of lock, but if you really want it to be nice and high tech, you can either look up a binary lock or you can go the lazy way and add my counter. My counter basically counts the number of times you've input a uh, button or any the m number of times you pressed any button basically. And once it gets to five, the number of uh, inputs in the combo, it will reset the combination just to make sure. So for example, if I pressed our combo five nine two eight four. If I pressed six five nine two eight four, it would reset at eight. And if you don't quite understand what I'm saying there, I will gladly demonstrate a little better. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and bring this surge down. Doing so by bringing it down one and then two and that will turn that on and remember this is just for a button press so ten ticks and that's perfect because we will need exactly ten ticks for our um, pulse reducer I guess I could call it alright so to make a pulse reducer you just have that there that there bring that around and basically that redstone will only turn off for a slight second for every 10 ticks. Alright, so we bring that up and we want to make the counter now. So I'll bring that out a little bit just so we have room. And basically, the counter, all it is is a. Uh, it counts the number of redstone pulses gone through this redstone. 
and to do that I'm using a piston design here let's just make this nice and simple All right. so just try and follow along here I'm not really going to explain because this isn't very necessary but I just want to give you the best redstone lock you can have Alright, so we need a block right here, there, one, two, three, four, and now piston, 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 sand, 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 okay. Alright, so as a test, we will put a button right here. Oh, geez. Um, no. And that counts one. Alright, so it's counted at one, two, three, four, five, resets the combination and resets itself. Alright, so essentially when we enter in the combo, five. Uh, Alright, my bad, I uh, need this to be turned off. So essentially, that's an off, and uh, we need to make that pulsar again. There we go. And let me uh, reset this. All right, so the combination was five, um, nine, two. Notice it has counted. I have four inputs, and it is on the fourth RS nor and four. There we go. Closes, opens. That resets. Everything resets. It is ready to be input again. And there is my combination lock. Thank you guys for watching. Please comment, rate, subscribe give me any advice you think on how to improve this I think I could make it a little more compact I just made it a little spread out so you could understand what was going on but thank you guys for watching and I'll see you soon